I'd like to take a moment to talk about our class schedule. Now, in the on-campus environment, our classes in the fall and spring semesters are Mondays through Wednesdays, 3 to 6. Then there's a break for dinner from 6 to 7. And then in the evening from 7 to 10, there's a theory or shooting class. On Tuesday evenings, there's rarely an afternoon class, but we have brief uh, lectures, workshops, or seminars, usually from approximately 7 to 8.30 p.m. Now, the classes in the fall semester, we, have, we start with the Advanced Imaging Techniques class. This is a software-based class that I teach, and it's approximately half working with uh, Adobe Lightroom and half working with Adobe Photoshop. Tom Ash teaches a color management output class where it's literally everything about color, how you see color, how your monitor displays color, printer, etc. how to work with different media and output services. We have a photography and video workflow class, which is also the first half of the semester dealing with still images and the second half of the semester with uh, video. And of course, since we're a photography program, in the fall, we offer an editorial photography class where you learn about how to tell a story with your images. Now, in all honesty, you are shooting for the advanced imaging class, the color management class, and the photo and video workflow class. So believe me, you'll be doing a lot of photography. I'd like to introduce you to one of our online instructors, Sean Duggan. Digital capture and workflow is really all about the, the process of capturing images digitally, uh, making sure that you're capturing the best quality exposures you can and also getting into the workflow process so that you can work with your images with confidence to deliver a excellent final product to the client. We also get into image archiving issues and even shooting video with DSLR. Students really love the class because it takes away the uncertainty that comes with all of the acronyms and terminology that, that the digital world has. The heart of the assignment is to get them acquainted with some technical aspect that they need to explore and be able to master, but I always try to break it up and make those technical f shooting assignments creative. It's second nature to them by the time the class is over and they can just concentrate on making great images, which is what this is all about. The ability to take the class online means that you can fit it into your schedule wherever it fits best, and so it makes it very flexible for people uh, to do that. And so we meet together uh, in discussion groups in the class where we discuss what we're covering that week. People can ask questions. I make videos to answer some of their questions. And there's a lot of really good back and forth that happens uh, as we respond to each other's questions and observations and experiences with the week's assignment. And what I think what surprises a lot of people who've never taken an online class before is uh, the, the level of community that develops among this, this small group of students and myself who is teaching the class, and uh, it really is a nice little journey. In the spring semester, you'll be concentrating on your thesis project. This is a self-motivated body of work that you really care about that is the project that you're going to want to show to your professional colleagues once you're done with the program. We also have a business practices class. We think it's very important that you understand image quality and negotiating and model releases and property releases, or as I like to say, it's good that you get paid for what you do. We have a design essentials class, which are, teaches you skills that you're going to need in the summer to produce your thesis deliverables. In this class, you're going to be working with Illustrator, InDesign, and some web design. And then we offer a fabulous class, Photo Illustration, which is uh, a studio-based class in terms of how to create complex composites. Here is Jack Rusnicki, who teaches our business class. The class I teach is the business of photography. And uh, it consists of a lot of lectures, or if you're online, a lot of um, reading. Um, there's uh, quizzes, there's practical exercises, where I will be going over a lot of critical business issues for photographers. That'll include copyright, which um, really is the underlying basis for a lot of things we do, because that's the basis that we license our work. And licensing our work is how photographers get paid. And um, I'll also deal with writing a proper invoice, which many photographers don't know how to do. And um, I'll go over terms that you need to have how to negotiate for jobs in my course. Um, and a lot of my course is basically giving photographers a good solid groundwork, a good solid foundation 
for their business. If your business practices are in order and you're making a good living, not just getting by, it means that as a photographer you can do personal projects. And we're going to talk to some photographers um, who have been very successful at doing that. And the basis of that is that they are on a solid business footing. They, they see photography as a business, they do it to make a living and a good living, and basically that's what my, my class is going to be about, arming photographers so you can go out there and make a decent living. It's been interesting to see the students progress through this program. Afterwards, when they're faced with business decisions, like contracts that are thrown at them, um, they tell me they feel that they're on solid ground, and a lot of them say they always run back to their notes for my class um, uh, to help them through uh, different negotiations they, they encounter. We're fortunate to be in New York City, where we have the opportunity to bring in a tremendous number of guest speakers, guest reviewers. They come from the art world, the business world, and the software world. And that's a real plus being in our program. We also offer enrichment seminars and workshops. We have the i3 uh, lecture series, which is open to the public and also available on uh, iTunes U and YouTube. Our contemporary image class provides a uh, overview of photography since 1950, and it's very important for your thesis research. We co-host the New York Photo Salon. We offer photo workshops on uh, lighting, working in the studio, working on location. Marco hosts what he calls Light Club, which helps people with the studio. And in the spring semester, I actually host Photoshop Camp, where people can ask any kind of questions that they like. We love going on gallery visits and really taking advantage of New York. And this is a great networking opportunity. So here are some lectures that we've hosted. And we did a, a workshop to restore images damaged by Hurricane Sandy, bring in fabulous speakers. Kira Pollock from Time Magazine, Ben Lowy, Philip Toledano. All of these lectures are available on iTunes U. You should really take a look. Oh, sometimes we have uh, refreshing beverages. There are a lot of guest reviewers. And it's all about being immersed in the material, in the curriculum, to really enable you to do the best work that you possibly can. We also try to have a little bit of fun. It's not all work. Now, in the summer session, it's all about finally producing your thesis deliverables. You photographed and created the thesis project, but now it's time to work on the thesis sequence. And there's a number of requirements that need to be fulfilled. In order to graduate, you have to create an electronic portfolio, you have to produce a book and your branding materials, but your branding materials would include your business card, your letterhead, mailers, your leave behinds, etc. You're going to be working on your exhibition prints. You're going to visit a number of galleries and work on developing the exhibit collateral material. And also, we have a seminar on professional communication. Some people love our handmade book class. All right, so here are some pictures from the summer where it's very hands-on. We spend a lot of time looking at images, talking about images, printing images. And for many, many people, it's really the high point of, of the program. So you see Elizabeth Avedon talking about designing books, Greg Gorman talking about how to make a print better, how to, Greg working on sequencing of images. Here we have an alumni presenting his work. And so it's very hands-on, very interactive. And yes, we do enjoy a beverage now and then. It's a picture from the handmade book class. So the summer is all about refining, polishing, and, and really realizing your vision.